Mr. Jack Madsen is going to be our speaker today. Um, the title of his program is Reflections of the Past. Jack came up to me oh, a few months ago and said, do you have an annual meeting speaker yet? And I looked at him and I said, I do now. <laughs> um, Jack wanted to have an opportunity to, um, to share some of his memories and I quickly accepted because it's, a, it's been an honor to be able to work with him for the years that I've been with the historical society, getting to know him more and more. And I know that many of the people in this room um, know him very well and also know, are excited to hear um, the words that he wants to share today. So what he gave me when I said, okay, you gotta give me something so I can tell people about what you're gonna do. And he gave me this quote that I, I really don't think I can do justice. But if you listen to um, every month, we have a spot on KTOE's um, Talk of the Town with Pete Steiner. Um, this past week, I had Pete read this, and I thought, okay, well, Pete Steiner can read it and give it the gusto. I think I can, too. So um, this is Jack's words. There is no such thing as dead history. History is not dead. It is very much alive. It is what we are experiencing right now, this very moment. The things we collect here at Bex are merely the tokens that mark our passing. They are the toys of older children left scattered about when they have gone upstairs to bed for their eternal rest. Isn't that great? <laughs> Aren't you excited? Do you want me just to read all of your? No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, 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 no. Um, so today, Jack is going to share his experiences in story, story and song, which we're going to be blessed with that as well. Of growing up in Blue Earth County, gleanings of his observations on big events in history, and photos of some of the people and places has known and loved during his lifetime. Many of those great images he share with the, shares with the Blue Earth County Historical Society. Um, probably most of you know him by having the camera around his neck or his son Tim having the camera around his neck and we're blessed by that. So with that, I welcome Jack Metz. Thank you, thank you. I have to make very sure that I have my notes here. I don't want to be speechless. <laughs> uh, that can very easily happen if there's a fan going or, or whatever. So I want to thank you all very much for coming today. I did uh, put out a few invitations or a little hints to uh, various people that, uh, that they should maybe uh, come and listen to me uh, because I didn't want to speak to an empty house. But, uh, <laughs> I do thank you very much for coming today. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're expecting of, of me, for sure, but I do need to tell you from the start that I never set out to be a great speaker. Uh, I'm not a scholar or a historian. I'm not a photographer, a poet, or a writer. But thankfully today, that's not really necessary. We are here to have some fun. Uh, Jessica has given me this chance uh, to share some of the gleanings from my brief visit to Earth. And it is brief. You have to be 77 to know that. And I want to share a few pictures, uh, some of the interesting things that uh, Blue Earth County uh, is all about. Uh, I need to share with you some of my great wisdom, if there is such a thing, uh, and my observations on this phantasmagorical thing that we call life. Phantasmagorical. Isn't that a beautiful word, uh, adjective for life? Uh, Webster defines it as a sequence of real or imaginary images like those seen in a dream real or imaginary images. Uh, I don't know about you, but at my age, I'm not really sure I can always tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I said, I'm not a, histori a historian or a scholar, but I am an observer. You may or may not agree with some of my observations. I may look at some things differently than you do. But sometimes things show up better in oblique light. As you can see, I have a few things here. 
on the table uh, that you're welcome to have a look at later. Uh, you can touch, it's not a problem with that. Um, I have a couple of cameras over there. Uh, I have an art piece that I made as a memorial to my wife. Uh, it has some uh, things written on the bottom of it that uh, you're welcome to tip it up and have a look at that. That's okay. Uh, what else? Oh, I have a pair of rose colored glasses. <laughs> so, I promise you, Shelly, that I try not to be too heavy, okay? If I start getting too dramatic, uh, I'll have to put on these rose colored glasses and uh, kind of tone it down just a little bit. Let's see, what else? Um, oh, I have this old crank telephone. I'm sure most of you are familiar with those and, and uh, how they work, and they're always on, right? You can always listen in to the neighbors, uh, but as long as the batteries were hot, uh, you can pick it up and look. What? <laughs> Really? Well, all right, I'll tell them. That was my dad. He says to remind you to turn off your cell phones. 